Good Friday morning. We are back with our last activity for the week and we hope that you have joined us this week and enjoyed all the activities. But today we're gonna to use the bean seeds that we mailed out to you if you received them. It turned into a little bit of a strive activity for myself because the first ones we sent out, some of them got crushed. So the next ones I had to repackage and hopefully those made it to you safely without the cracks the second round that I sent out. Um, today we're going to be planting some bean seeds. So if you are printing out the worksheet for the um, kids to fill in, at the top you're going to fill in the title of your experiments, which is Ziploc Bag Plants. So go ahead and fill that in up at the top. And then on your hypothesis, you're going to answer the question, how long will it take for my plant to grow? So how many days do you think it's going to take for your seed to grow? Then I want you in your um, uh, experimental setup, I want you to draw and label how you think we're going to take a Ziploc bag a paper towel and a bean seed and how you think we're going to plant it. So go ahead and sketch that out, how you think we're gonna put all of that together to plant a bean seed in a Ziploc bag. All right, so then what we're going to do is you're gonna take your paper towel and you're going to fold it in half and you're gonna fold it in half again. So you're gonna have like this. You're going to dampen it. You're gonna get some water and you're gonna make sure, don't make it so wet that you can wring it out, but you're gonna make sure that it's damp and make sure that it's damp all around the edges as well because we're gonna put this in the Ziploc bag. So take some water and you're gonna make it just a little bit wet. You're not going to make it so that you can wring it out. All right, so then when once you're done with that, you're going to put it in your Ziploc bag, okay? So you can use any size Ziploc bag. This is just the ones that we chose. So you're gonna put your paper towel in there, and then you're gonna put in your bean seeds. So some of you, if you received them from us, maybe got the brown bean seeds. Some of you maybe got the white bean seeds. They are all beans, so they're just different kinds of beans. So you're gonna put that in down at the bottom of your Ziploc bag. You're gonna make sure that it's pressed against the water. Parents, if you wanna speed this up at all, um, you can soak the beans overnight. If you wanna soak them overnight and then put them in, it softens up the outer shell of the bean. So you're gonna put that in, you're gonna put your beans down here. You're gonna make sure that the air is out of the bean seed and then, or out of the Ziploc bag and then you're gonna close your Ziploc bag. Then you're gonna tape this to a window that's gonna get some sunlight. So you wanna put this in a place where you're gonna, the, the sun is going to be able to hit the Ziploc bag so that the beans can get some warmth. Um, so then when you are done with that, you're going to, under your data collection and observation, you're gonna draw a picture of what the experiment looks like after it's all set up. So you can draw the sun in the background, you can draw the Ziploc bag, maybe draw the rays hitting onto the sun um, so that you know that all parts of the experiment are taken care of. Then after 24 hours, you're going to make some observations. So under your observation and um, data collection, sorry, under your results on your handout, you're going to draw a table and you're going to put day one. And after 24 hours, you're going to make some observation. Is the bean seed still whole? Has it sprouted at all? Then you're going to continue doing that for days, probably about a week, you're gonna watch your bean seeds. If you need to add a little bit more water, you don't want it to be super wet in there, but you also don't want the paper towel to be completely dry either. So after a week, if you see some sprouting, you're going to make those observations, you're gonna write down that data, and then once you're done with the bean seed and your bean seed has sprouted, you can actually plant this outside. So find a place around your house that you, or you put it in a pot outside your house on your patio, you can put it in a garden if you have a garden. 
but you can put these outside um, and grow them for a bean plant. Um, the analysis questions for today, how many days does it take your seeds to pop up and sprout? How many days did it take you to see leaves emerge? And how many days did it take to see the roots form? So the root is the bottom part that's gonna grow down and the leaves are going to be the part that goes above the ground. There are a few extensions for this activity. You can repeat it with a different type of seed. So you could try any type of seeds that you have. You could try flower seeds. You could try other vegetable or fruit seeds. Um, you could try it with a pinto bean. Um, you also could put a seed in a bag and just add a little bit of water without the paper towel and see if that affects your experiment. So hopefully this spring you've seen some flowers bloom, you've seen the trees bloom, you've seen some tulips pop up. Um, so hopefully you'll get to see your bean seed sprout as well. If you have not already filled in the feedback form for um, our virtual STEAM activities, we would love for you to do that. It's on our website under virtual STEAM activities. You can fill that in, it only takes a couple of minutes. Parents, we would love your feedback so that we can have better information moving forward for our programming. Also, go ahead and post your pictures that of your bean seeds and hashtag it STEAM with Strive. We love seeing all of your boats yesterday. Um, so make sure that you tag us in it so that we can see your bean seed setup. Also, don't forget that our digital breakout is posted. The kids that have done it have given us really great feedback that they really enjoyed this one. Um, so the missing soccer ball is up on our website now under digital breakouts on our website, which is www.striveacademy.org. We hope that you guys have a great weekend. We will be back on Monday um, and we look forward to seeing you next week. Bye guys.